The location is strategic. Instead of taking someone to jail for a low-level crime, Denver police can take them to resources across the street. The city's Department of Safety runs the aid center. It's an idea from officers who worked in downtown. They'd be arrested for low-level crimes. They would then go to the jail. They would be cycled out of the jail within hours. Executive Director Armando Sodalte says the center hopes to stop that cycle. This one-stop shop offers programs like housing, mental health, and addiction treatment. But out of 769 referrals to here since November, less than 10 percent have come from police. I think in some cases, you know, there, there may be reluctance from the community member that they don't know what that is. Sodalte says some people who need help don't want it, or they have active warrants police can't ignore. Transportation is also an issue. When someone's in crisis, it's hard to tell them, hey, just get on the L line of the bus and take this and then transfer here and get there. Most people come here either by walking in or getting a tip from the judge overseeing their criminal case. And the judges say, hey, you may benefit from the services being offered right across the street. The here. criminal justice system isn't the best option for everyone. The city wants to make this option easier to get to. To make it low barrier, not only for the community member to just be able to walk in, but also low barrier for the officer. Right now, the aid center is only open during typical business hours. So if an officer runs into someone late at night, that can be an issue too. But obviously having a center that's open 24 hours a day, Alex means a lot more money and a lot more resources. Yeah, it seems like great resources that some people are utilizing, but it really just seems like a missed opportunity for DPD not to be utilizing it in the way that they asked for. And and what the city is saying is not that DPD is, you know, poor partners in this. They actually, you know, want to participate. It's just some of those challenges and trying to figure out how to meet them so that more people can go to the aid center. All right. Okay, Kelly, thank you.